Hello, this is David Puckett with Southeastern Industrial Linings. This video addresses leaky stainless steel cooling towers. Stainless steel towers are notorious for leaking at the seams. As you can see in this video, the seams have been resealed many times. This project was in downtown Chicago on a 15-story building. We had to drape the entire project in a plastic tent as you see here. These towers had obviously been leaking for quite some time. Even though the towers are stainless steel and most of this corrosion is on the surface, the steel I-beams that the cooling towers set on have suffered a tremendous amount of rust and corrosion from the chemicals used in the cooling tower. We have a separate video addressing the remediation and coating of these particular I-beams. Here we're grit blasting the tower to remove all scale and build up from the stainless steel. Here's another shot of the plastic enclosure that we had to drape over the project to control the grit blast and overspray. This project was on the Magnificent Mile in Chicago, right in the heart of the business district. These are shots of the cooling tower after the grit blast is complete. This shows the profile that we put on the stainless steel, which aids the lining material in gripping the stainless. Even though it has a nice profile on it, stainless steel has to be acid etched before any linings are installed. These are shots of the acid etch being applied. Here the polyurea is being applied. Polyurea is applied at about 23 to 2500 PSI and about 165 degrees. It sets up and turns to a solid in about 10 to 12 seconds. We typically apply it between 60 and 80 mils in a cooling tower taking special attention to apply it much heavier at seams in any points that could potentially leak. Give us a call for any of your lining needs, whether it's cooling towers, tanks, secondary containment, flooring. Polyurea is an industrial system that can be used in virtually any situation. Thanks for watching our video.